Hello, Reverend Dr. Red here. <clears throat> um, I have an important piece of information I'd like to share with everybody. Um, it does ha relate to the uh, election going on right now. <clears throat> and I'm sure, as everyone's well aware, there are numerous reasons as to why Obama cannot get back into office. Um, before I continue, let me just say, if you have a problem with my appearance, please watch my last video entitled, Me Minister for a New World, and it's all explained in that video. Please keep all your comments about my appearance and how I'm dressed to yourself until after you watch that video. Now, getting back to the point of this video. Uh, anybody who's been to my website, ReverendDrRed.com and SpiritualMessiahMinistries.org knows that aside from uh, continuing on my private studies and trying to stay as well read as possible on the current events and, and running a full-time ministry as well as a, the uh, Spiritual Truth Coalition, <coughs> I'm also a member of a few different uh, patriot organizations here in America. Now, it's been said all over the you know talk radio, social networks, and everything, numerous reasons why Obama needs to get out of office. Everywhere from the fact that he's destroying the United States Constitution to he's Altering the history books in, in school, to he's cowtown with the Muslims, to the fact that he's a Muslim himself, to the fact that he's not a legal resident of the United States, he's not even an American citizen, therefore he's illegally in office. He is he has a, literally hijacked the White House. On top of the fact that he's also signed into law a couple of executive orders that pretty much gives him supreme power, and everybody's saying that you know there's a good possibility that if he gets back in office for a second term, that that is it. We have officially gone from the United States of America, land of the free, home of the brave, to the United Socialist States of America the land of the enslaved, home of the cowards. Uh, now, a lot of you who have been to my website and and or have visited my the local <coughs> establishment here for the ministry, you know that there have been numerous predictions that I've made and made public and have come true. Uh, so, you know that that what I'm about to say does hold some kind of, of weight to it, especially with the proof that I have in my hands that I'll show you in a second. Those of you who don't know who I am and know nothing of Spiritual Messiah Ministries or of my public speaking career or any of the predictions that I've made, <coughs> you can visit my channel, watch my past videos. <laughs> Go to spiritualmessiahministries.org and spiritualmessiahministries.com. Uh, both of those websites have a Bible prophecy slash prediction page where I lay out a couple of predictions using Bible prophecy and historical as well as current events to explain my prediction and how I came to that prediction. And the predictions I have up, to, up on that website right now have already happened. Uh, where I believe we're actually living through the last one I had posted to those websites. Um, you can also go to reverend.thered.com or spiritualmessiahministries.org and in the lower uh, right hand corner of the website you will see links to different organizations I belong to including the NRA and the Tea Party Patriots and other Patriot organizations such as that. Now. On top of every other reason anybody could possibly have to want Obama out of office, I'm going to 
give you ten more reasons why I'm getting out of office. Now, I, I received in the mail <coughs> an emergency update from the NRA Institute for Legislative Action and the NRA uh, Political Victory Fund. And I'm going to read to you just brief points from these letters. Um, from the NRA Institute of Legislative Action. And the key points here is that now the 10-year effort to defeat this global gun control scheme is heading for a critical battle. Uh, starting on July 2nd, 2012 of this year, representatives from around the world will convene at the United Nations for a four-week conference to debate and decide the final terms of an arms trade treaty. Now, there are two possible outcomes of this uh, arms trade treaty. Either we'll see a treaty that seeks to regulate one major arms shipment between nations as those who first proposed this treaty originally intended, or will see global gun ban radicals finally succeed in a 10 year effort to hijack these negotiations and enact a treaty to disarm every private citizen in every country around the world, including American citizens like you and me? Now, obviously, there's no way of knowing which one of these outcomes is going to be the outcome of this four week conference beginning July 2nd of 2012 at the United Nations. But <coughs> what we do know is this. If global gun banners win this upcoming battle and enact a UN treaty that demands the draconian restrictions on private gun ownership worldwide, you and I will be facing a ticking time bomb that will threaten the Second Amendment for the rest of our lives and beyond. <coughs> the fact is international gun banners want every gun, every single gun worldwide to be under United Nations control. That includes your rifle, your shotgun, your handgun, even family heirlooms that have been passed down from generation to generation. Every single gun they want to control. And for anybody who's saying, well, it can't happen here. The fact is, once the treaty is enacted at the UN, it never goes away. And myself, as well as um, Chris Cox of the NRA both feel that you'll agree that President Obama would sign a UN gun ban treaty the moment he had the chance. And if that happens, that treaty could then be ratified by any future anti-gun Senate at any moment when the gun banners have enough votes, even 10, 20, or 50 years from now. <coughs> And when that happens, if and when that happens, your rights or those of your children or grandchildren will be wiped out virtually overnight with little or no debate. <clears throat> the strong freedom that generations of Americans have fought and died to defend for more than 230 years. This threat is real because in just over three months from now, representatives from more than 100 anti-gun governments along with more than 700 worldwide gun ban groups are going to be sitting down at the United Nations with the full intent to rob us of our Second Amendment rights. And the rest of the letter pretty much states that the NRA Institute for Legislative Action is, is active at the United Nations <coughs> working to keep legislation such as this from ever happening. <clears throat> and they're going to be at this conference that's beginning on July 2nd <clears throat> with these other representatives from around the world <clears throat> with other pro-gun, pro-freedom groups stating gun 
statistics and gun facts to counteract the uh, propaganda that these anti-gun lobbyists are going to be trying to use to force this legislation to go into play to initiate an international gun ban. And here, is the letter from the NRA Political Victory Fund pretty much stating the same thing that the NRA Institute for Legislative Action stated to me. But they also added in this handy little thing that they call the Defeat Obama Fact Sheet. It has 10 facts that every gun owner should know about Barack Obama. And I'm going to, you know, give you a briefing on these facts for you. And you can print out a version of fact sheet just like this one here. From NRAPVF.org slash Obama Fact Sheet. That's NRAPVF.org slash Obama Fact Sheet. Now, fact number one states that President Obama <coughs> wins re election, can allow the opportunity to appoint as many as three more anti Second Amendment justices to the Supreme Court and destroy the Second Amendment. And they are enclosed with that fact, a quotation from Michelle Obama. And I quote, We're going to make a choice that will impact our lives for decades to come. Let's not forget what it meant when my husband appointed those two brilliant Supreme Court justices. Let's not forget the impact that their decisions will have on our lives for decades to come. End quote. Not for out of the mouth of Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama's words serve as a loud warning to gun owners across America. If Barack Obama wins re-election and gets the opportunity to tilt the balance of the Supreme Court in his favor, <clears throat> the five to four majorities in the Heller and McDonald decisions, which affirmed our fundamental right to own firearms, will be in serious jeopardy of being reversed, effectively eliminating the Second Amendment. <coughs> Now, fact number two. <clears throat> states Obama will flood our federal courts with anti-gun judges who will rule against your constitutional rights. If re-elected to a second term, President Obama will end up appointing over half of all federal judges, effectively turning our court system into a revolving door for anti-gun lawsuits aimed at destroying our right to keep and bear arms. Obama's judges can obliterate their freedom without a single vote in Congress. One anti-gun ruling at a time. <clears throat> How do you like that one? Then we have fact number three. Obama will expand gun owner registration to include you. When the Obama Justice Department illegally imposed gun registration in four border states requiring gun shops to report the sales of any law-abiding citizen he purchases more than one semi-automatic rifle within five business days. Now, Obama's assistant attorney general wants to force every American to register all of their guns. Number four, Obama will try to give the United Nations authority over your firearms. Obama has already endorsed moving ahead towards creating a United Nations gun ban treaty and will likely sign after it's negotiated. Obama's State Department has vowed to make the treaty legally binding, calling it Fundamental Policy Commitment. The UN's anti-gun bureaucrats are now closer than ever to imposing strict international controls on more body American gun owners like you. Five. 
The Obama administration armed violent criminals in Mexico in an attempt to frame American gun owners like you for Mexican drug crime. Under Operation Fast and Furious, Obama administration helped transfer guns to drug cartels in Mexico and built a case to build a case for gun control. This deadly scandal has been linked to the murder of a U.S. Border Patrol agent, and Obama's bureaucrats are still blaming you and our Second Amendment rights for Mexico's violent crime. Number six. Barack Obama has a long history of trying to regulate, restrict, and ban your Second Amendment rights out of existence. Obama has opposed your right to carry a firearm, supported gun owner licensing, and gun registration, voted to ban your semi-automatic rifles, handguns, and ammunition, and voted to criminally prosecute you if you ever used a firearm in self-defense. When Obama told author John Lott, I don't believe that people should be able to own guns, he meant what he said. Number seven, Obama will work with anti-gun New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg and anti-gun lawyers to severely strict, restrict the types of firearms you can uh, purchase. <coughs> In the Obama administration <coughs> has already blocked the important importation of M1 Garand rifles into the United States and tried to ban countless types of popular imported shotguns. If we are elected, Obama will launch a legal assault to ban the importation of other firearms popular with collectors, hunters, and sports shooters. Number eight, Barack Obama ignores Congress and says he's above the law. In late 2011, Obama told Congress he would ignore a provision in the 2012 Omnibus Spending Bill that specifically barred him from using taxpayer dollars to lobby for more gun control. Obama will stop at nothing to build public support for gun bans, gun registration, and other regulations designed to weaken and destroy our Second Amendment rights. Number nine. <clears throat> Obama will launch a regulatory war to shut down hunting and shooting. In 2011, President Obama's army of anti-gun bureaucrats tried to shut down hunting and shooting on hundreds of millions of acres of public land. Obama will spend his second term in office abusing the Endangered Species Act to severely restrict hunting and pushing the Environmental Protection Agency to ban lead ammunition and seeking more ways to kick you off America's public lands. <clears throat> and number 10, you can't trust Barack Obama with the future of your freedoms. If a Barack Obama wins the second term in office, our Second Amendment freedom will not survive. Obama will never have to face the voters again and will therefore be unleashed to push the most extreme elements of his gun ban agenda to every corner of America. Now, as I said, I received this in the mail from the NRA Political Victory Fund. <coughs> you can go to nrapdf.org slash Obama fact sheet and print one out for yourself. Now, everybody Needs to see this bit of information. <coughs> so what I would like to see everybody do, <coughs> and I'm going to do the same thing, is to print out one of these papers for every vehicle you own. Every vehicle that goes to your household, <coughs> and take this in the back window. So as you can where your vehicle is parked there, or it's parked at a supermarket or whatever, anybody walking past can, can visibly see this and remove information for themselves. If you're a business owner of any kind, and you have a storefront of some kind, can I want to see this piece of paper in the windows of your storefront. This information needs to get out to everybody. It is critical. Our freedoms are being attacked. Now, just so everybody is aware, the 
NRA Political Victory Fund and the NRA uh, Institute for Legislative Action are two completely different arms of the NRA. So when you donate to one, it doesn't necessarily help out the other. They're two completely different arms of the NRA. So if you can please go to nraila-un.org. Again, that's nraila-un.org. And make a small donation to the ILA. So they can help keep this United Nations gun ban completely off the table. Now, would be greatly appreciated. And I'm sure not only yourself and your family and your friends, but your, your children, your grandchildren, and your, and your grandchildren's children would greatly appreciate you for that. Because now, thanks to to rare donation you can afford to give to the ILA, they still have their Second Amendment rights to own and bear arms. And if you can also please go to nrapvf.org, again that's nrapvf.org, and give them a, a donation. And what that donation is going to be doing is allowing the NRA uh, Political Victory Fund to run television ads, paper ads, and radio ads, getting this information out to more than 80 million plus Americans. And this information really needs to go out. So if you can please go to those two websites and just give them a small donation, wherever you can afford, <coughs> and be greatly appreciated. Go to nrapvf.org slash Obama fact sheet and print out the fact sheet for yourself. Post it in your storefront if you own a business. Post it in the back one door of your vehicles. And just get the information out there. Tell your friends. Uh, tell all your relatives. You know, this information needs to get out. And I've been hearing a lot of statements across the social networks that a lot of people are saying, well, if their specific nom nominee doesn't become the Republican nominee to go against Obama, that is something I'm not going to vote. Well, we can't have that. If you don't vote, what you're doing is you're actually voting for Obama. <clears throat> for every person, Republican, conservative, independent, whatever you want to call yourself, that does not vote, you are allowing Obama back into office. It's akin to voting for Obama. Because every single Obama supporter that still supports Obama after the first election, that he kind of messed America up, he's still going to vote for Obama. And anybody else Obama managed to win over to his side is going to vote for Obama. And when Obama gets back into office, like I believe I said in a previous video, it's over. We're looking at a good chance that this is going to be the final elections. If Obama gets into office, we're looking at a serious, a very serious, uh, time altering change here for America. I mean, he is literally going step by step of how Hitler not only rose to power in Germany, but then turned Germany from a, a republic into a dictatorship. And that's what we're seeing happening here right now, today, in America. So if Obama gets elected back in for a second term, you can figure it on it, that's it. Our freedoms right there are gone. We're not going to see any more elections because Obama is now officially a dictator. Uh, thanks to a couple of different executive orders he signed into law, he, he gave himself the authority to do that at any given moment he so pleases. He wanted to wake up in the morning and, and, and do it, you know, today or tomorrow morning. He, he Technically, he has the authority to do so. He, he wrote that, he gave himself the authority to do so. Uh, and we've already seen the passing of different bills and executive orders into law that is one by one knocking out all the amendments of the Constitution, starting with the Bill of Rights. So, you know, this really isn't a pretty picture, folks. 
um, this attitude that, you know, it can't happen here, this is America, is an attitude you really can't have. It's that kind of attitude that allowed the Germans back in Nazi Germany to have Nazi Germany happen to them in the first place. And it's that exact attitude that as it was happening, can allow it to keep on happening because everybody figured, well, it's not going to happen to me. And as you're going down the line with these people, the SS taking down different people, when it finally got up to that last person, now there was nobody to scream out and come to death to, to, to you know, save them. And that was it. So if they had that mentality that it can't happen here, it's a very, very dangerous mentality. It, the only way to secure the fact that it can't happen here is by dealing with the, the very real possibility that it can happen here and doing everything in our ability to prevent it from happening here. <clears throat> um, now, considering different executive orders and different bills that have been passed into law, our freedoms are literally hanging on by a thread. And as I just showed you from you know, two notifications I received from the Political Victory Fund as well as the Institute of Legislative Action from the NRA, our Second Amendment rights are literally dangling by a thread. So right now it is our job to spread this information out to as many people as we possibly can and use the last little bit of freedoms we have left to secure our freedoms for future, for future generations to come and to reinstate the Constitution and to put American blood back into the American offices and get the United Nations and all, and all these international organizations and international laws out of America, once and for all. They don't belong here. This is not what was intended. And there was numerous different things that were stated in the United States Constitution to protect us against this type of tyranny. And we're seeing it playing out right in front of us. Uh, <clears throat> and considering all my other predictions <clears throat> have played out, as well as predictions from other people who have made very similar predictions to the, that that I've stated, and they've all played out. You know, I really don't want to see this one play out the way it's looking like it's going to. So please, if you have the mentality that if your if your Republican candidate doesn't become the nominee, that you're not going to vote. Don't have that mentality. Whoever the nominee is, that's who we got to get into office. As it is, I was kind of hoping Herman Cain would have got would have been the nominee. <coughs> And I was behind Herman McCain 100%. And they, they just kind of destroyed him. So, out of who's left, I'm not really sure who, which one I like better than the, the others at this moment in time. <clears throat> but it really doesn't matter. As long as whoever the Republican candidate is, that is, that is who all of us all independents, all Republicans, and all the conservatives need to get behind. We need to get out there and vote and get and vote for the Republican candidate. Because if plenty of us don't vote, that's one more vote of a chance that Obama is no one getting back into office. And we cannot have that happen. He is a threat to this country, as I've stated in, in prior videos, and as well as numerous other people are trying to stay and get the word out there about. You know, this is really a dangerous time, folks. Uh, so, like I said, please go to uh, nraila-un.org and send them a donation. We try to keep this uh, international gun ban off the table entirely and please go to nrapvf.org and give them a donation so they can you know support the, the uh, radio commercials, TV commercials, can they uh... can't remember the, 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 the paper ads out there we try to, to educate <clears throat> as many Americans as we can to the seriousness of this 
uh, upcoming election. <clears throat> um, you can also, now that I stated earlier, if you go to the bottom right hand side of either spiritual messiah ministries dot org or reverend doctor uh reverend doctor red dot com and again that's spiritual messiah ministries dot org or reverend doctor red dot com in the bottom right hand of the page you will see the, the links to the different organizations that I belong to. And the, in those links, you will see the links to the NRA ILA's page, as well as the link to the NRA uh, PB, PBS page. So please go there, give, them, give each of these arms of the NRA, whatever nations you can afford to give. And let's keep this international United Nations gun ban off the table. And let's keep Obama out of office a second term. Go to the NRA PBS.org website and print out your own Obama fact sheets. Put it up on your vehicle windows, your storefront windows if you're on business. Hand them out to your friends and relatives. Uh, just get information out there. Uh, link to my video. Copy this video and put it on your own YouTube channel. Just do whatever you can to get this information out to the masses. This is really serious, folks. If Obama gets back into office, the first thing he's going to do with this United Nations gun ban treaty, if it goes that route, the first thing Obama is going to do is disarm America. He's going to take all of our weapons and ammunition and burn them in a giant scrap heap. And that is going to be the first thing he does. Why? Because now it's not going to matter what else he did. Because now, what else he does, I mean, because now whatever else he does isn't going to matter. Because as far as he's concerned, if we don't have our firearms, and he goes to, to do an all-out complete takeover like Hitler did, there ain't, there isn't going to be anybody, not one individual, armed to to fight back. This is a completely pre-planned assault and all-out takeover of America. We are literally watching the downfall of the United States of America, and we are watching the rise of the United Social States of America. <clears throat> And to suggest that a government can't do this, Hitler did it back in Nazi Germany, and England did do, did it, and Australia did it. Just name a few. If you own a weapon right now, just try going to England with that weapon. You are not going to be allowed to become a citizen in England or Australia, and still own, have to keep on to with a firearm. <coughs> it is against their laws. So please, link to this video, share this video, copy it to your own YouTube channel, print out the fact sheet and get the information out there, go to the websites, uh, the links are on reverend.thered.com and Um The websites themselves are nraila-un.org and nrapvf dot org and donate how much you can and please remember that the, the, these two different organizations the Institute for Legislative Action through the NRA as well as the NRA Political Victory Fund are two separate arms of the NRA <coughs> so whatever donation you give to the ILA <coughs> is not necessarily going to be helping the PVF and whichever donation you give to the PVF He's not necessarily going to be helping the ILA. The two different arms are focusing on two different areas. And again, the ILA right now is active in the United Nations, and they're going to be there for this worldwide uh, conference starting July 2nd, talking about this arms treaty. 
So please give them, give them whatever donations you can afford to give to help them fight for our rights, not just in America, but worldwide, to keep our own ownership of our, and our own rights, our own guns, and our own countries. Let's not allow the United Nations to decide on what rights we have as far as weapons or anything else for that matter here in America. And donate whatever you can, whatever you can afford to donate to the Political Victory Fund so they can get the information out spread across America and try to educate as much Americans as they possibly can about what's really going on. <coughs> I mean, this, this doesn't get any more serious than this, folks. We, we really need to, you know, or any of you that's still sitting behind your computer screen or sitting on your couch playing your video games, doing nothing, I mean, this is the time to get up and do something. Spread this video, print out the fact sheets and spread the fact sheets around, go up to these websites, give them a donation, and let's get the word out there, and let's stop Obama, and let's stop the United Nations International Gun Ban Treaty. This is really serious. This is really happening. I don't know how much more I can stress how serious this is. If I get any more updates from any branch within the NRA or any other organization, I will make a follow-up video and let you all know what's going on. And as I said, your donations will be greatly appreciated. I'm sure the PVS and the ILA can use them. And I mean, this is a real serious fight. <coughs> and I'm sure your children and your grandchildren and your grandchildren's children <coughs> will can be forever thanking you for making this donation because of making a simple donation you are helping secure their freedom you're helping secure that they grow up in a free world not in a world of enslavement and that is exactly where we're heading unless Americans seriously wake up and those that are awake start standing up and speaking up Until next time, God bless.